This is the National Gallery of Canada, a place that always fills me with anticipation. When you come here, of course you expect to see great art, maybe Benjamin West's Death of Wolf or Barnett Newman's Voice of Fire. But the heart of this place is Tom Thompson and the Group of Seven. We're gonna go there now and look at those great paintings in a way that can make you a better Canadian. This is the gallery's main Tom Thompson and the Group of Seven room, and along this wall are three acknowledged Thompson masterpieces. This is my favorite of them. It's called Northern River, but Tom himself called it Swamp Picture, which I think is much better. It was bought by the gallery in 1915 for 500 bucks, which was a big score for Tom at the time. Of course, he didn't lug big canvases like this into the wilderness with him. He painted on little birch panels. And guess what you get to see if you go around a corner over this way? Well, here they are, those panels. You don't get any closer to being on a rocky shoreline or in a canoe with Tom Thompson while he created so much of Canadian culture. But looking at these beautiful little things, you can get the impression that Canadian art a century ago was turned inward entirely, sort of probing for an essence of Canadian identity. And that was true, of course, to a degree. But for another perspective, you have to step over into a nearby room. This little canvas is by David Milne. Milne revered Tom Thompson, but while Thompson and the group were out in the wilderness, Milne was out in the world, in New York City in the early years of the 20th century. In fact, he was the only Canadian in the legendary 1913 Armory Show in New York, the show that brought modernism to America, Picasso, Matisse, Duchamp. So here we see a Canadian artist cracking the international scene at exactly the start of what we think of as real Canadian art in the 20th century. Canadians know you don't have to go to Manhattan to matter though, so I brought you to see something by Lionel Lemoyne Fitzgerald of Winnipeg. He was technically a member of the Group of Seven, but he joined very late in the group's run and was never really associated with anything other than his hometown. If you know Winnipeg, you know that he captures the light of the place just perfectly. Not much like Thompson's swamp light or the busy kind of modern energy in Milne, but a very special thing in its own right. So there's your mini tour. Start with Tom Thompson, go international with Milne, come back to a very homey Canadian feel with Lionel Moyne Fitzgerald. After that, you can explore the rest of the National Gallery on your own, knowing that you've already made yourself a better Canadian.